Hey you guys, what's up? In less than two hours, I will officially be moved out of my house and out of my way to college. So I am super excited. I look like this because we're moving everything into the cars and doing all that crazy stuff, but I had to take a quick break and film this review. This is a book review and it's on Taken by Norma Jean Connors, which is the first book in the Hawthorne series. Um, this is an author request. I talked to her on Twitter. She's super sweet and I will totally link her page below if you guys want to check her out. And yeah, so I liked this book and it was really fast paced. That's how I would describe it would be fast paced. The main character's name is Victoria and she goes by Rhea. She is a mid 20s fifth grade elementary school teacher. So you can kind of get a feel of her character just for her being a teacher. She's super sweet, loves kids, bubbly, and all of that stuff. And she is the daughter of Victor Hawthorne, who is a very wealthy and prestigious man. So if he's wealthy, then Victoria and her whole family is wealthy. So just keep that in mind. And um, Victoria is dating Evan. Um, well, it's actually her fiancé. They get engaged, but that's not a spoiler. It's in the beginning of the book. So Evan works for Victor, and Victor's kind of hesitant when it comes to Evan. He doesn't really think that he's the right man for his daughter, but Rhea really likes him, and she wants to marry him. So um, they get engaged, and they tell her parents, and everyone's excited. Not really the dad, but, you know, he's so happy for his daughter. And then a week goes by, and Rhea gets pregnant. Now, again, this isn't a spoiler. This is right in the beginning of the book. But it's an unexpected present, uh, pregnancy. Her and Evan were not planning on having a family until way later in life when they both had secure jobs and had a good source of income. So she's kind of nervous to tell Evan because he's really been snippy lately. He's not really home that much because he's always on business. And yeah, Evan's character I didn't like at all. He's just rude and obnoxious and almost like bipolar. I don't know, but I didn't like him whatsoever. So Rhea tells Evan, and she thinks he's going to freak out, but he doesn't. And his whole personality changes. And he's sweet, and he's loving, and he's like, anything you want, I'll get for you. So I kind of found that suspicious. I was like, okay, you're going to treat her like dog poo, and then when she gets pregnant, then you're like so happy. So this whole situation was just kind of, you know, messed up and weird. And then Rhea goes to have a dinner with her parents without Evan, and her father brings up that he wants um, Rhea to give Evan a prenuptial agreement and have Evan sign it. And for those of you who do not know what a prenup is, it is when you get married and you have the uh, you have your partner sign a paper. Um, so if you get divorced, your partner can't take all of your money. So basically, her dad is wanting her to sign or have Evan sign this so in case he's just in it for the money, he can't divorce Rhea and take all of the family's income and all of their hard-earned money. So she's like, Dad, you know, he's going to freak out when I give this to him. He loves me for who I am. And her dad's like, well, you're not marrying him unless you have him sign this. So she's going and strolling through the park with Evan. Um, and she sits down and she tells him about the prenup. And his whole personality comes back. And he just storms away and leaves his pregnant wife there in the forest. And Rhea suffers from asthma and panic attacks. So she's trying to run after him. She's pregnant. He just leaves her there on this, like, path that they've never been on or something. And she, like, passes out from her asthma attack. And she remembers, like, some strong guy picking her up and taking her to the hospital. And she had all, she thought, like, wolves were surrounding her. And she always has these nightmares that concern, like, wolves and all this stuff. So that was just, like, a really crazy part of the book. So she gets to the hospital, and her parents are like, oh, well, your fiancé is nowhere to be seen. Like, you know, such a shocker because he was always such a good guy, which he wasn't. I mean, it's pretty typical that he left. And um, Rhea's best friend Jack is there, and her and Jack have been best friends since they were, like, really little. So Jack's like, why don't you just come stay with me for a little bit, and, you know, you can, you, you know, just recuperate or whatever you have to do. So Rhea goes to live with Jack, and she meets Jack's neighbor, Seth. And Seth and his whole family are Native American. Um, she describes him as really good-looking and friendly and just an all-around fun person like her. And about, I want to say like one-fourth into the book, it switches to Seth's point of view, which I love. I know I've mentioned to you guys before, I love when authors like 
switch the point of view between characters because I can just get a whole new feel of the story, which I did from Seth's point of view. So Seth is Native American and he has all these like legends surrounding his family. So as a reader, there definitely is a tie between Rhea and Seth. And Seth has to fulfill this legend and this journey that is coming up. So you see if it has to involve Rhea or if it's just like, you know, a passing with her in it somehow. But the book itself is awesome. And you find out everything that happens with Evan, where he went, what type of person he is. And I really just liked the book and I liked the story a lot. And I feel like the journey that Rhea has to go through is definitely um, full of like panic and just bad times. But you see her get through those. And I really, really, really enjoyed this book. Again, this is Taken, which is the first book in the Hawthorne series by Norma Jean Connors. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I can't believe I'm going to school soon. This is so weird. Um, I counted today and I've been on YouTube for about seven months. And it feels like I've only been on here for three. Like the whole time has just flown by and I can't believe I'm going to school now. But I hope to film reviews in my dorm room. I'll definitely be like tweeting pictures and everything. But yeah, thank you so much for watching you guys. And I'm so excited to start this journey with you all while I'm in college. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye!